Hi, we're here in Sea Isle City. I'm with Mike Monicetti of Mike's Seafood. And uh, Mike's going to tell us a bit about the Feast of the Seven Fishes and its origin. And uh, Mike, could you please you know, tell us a little bit about the history? Sure I can. The Feast of the Seven Fishes was brought to this country uh, by people like my grandparents in the late 1800s, early 1900s uh, from southern Italy, including uh, Sicily, from Naples on down to Sicily. The Feast of the Seven Fishes is, the, in Italy, they call it the La Vigilia. In America, it's, uh, you would say the vigil. It's uh, the waiting for the birth of baby Jesus on Christmas Eve. What is the significance of the number seven? I mean, why isn't it six or five fishes or eight fishes? What, why seven? Uh, a lot of different uh, reasons I heard over the years. It's the uh, seven sacraments, the seven deadly sins, the seven mountains that surround Rome. The Lord created the universe in six days. On the seventh day, he rested. Uh, the number seven is the most used uh, number in the Bible over 400 times. Seven fishes for the seven seas, uh, and on and on and on. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without the Feast of the Seven Fishes on Christmas Eve with a lot of Italians. That's a die-hard tradition. And now that has really grown with the help of a lot of these food shows. Uh, the Rachel Rays, the, the Emerald Agassiz, they do their cooking shows and they do a lot of talking about the uh, Feast of the Seven Fishes. We're uh, now here with Chef Christian, and uh, Christian's going to tell us a bit about what he'll be cooking for us today. All right, well, we're going to start with the bacala here, the salt cod. This is going to be the most labor-intensive thing that you're going to cook. Uh, because it's so salty, you have to soak it in fresh water for three days, changing the water every 12 hours. Generally six changes, 72 hours, to draw the salt out of the fish. And then we're going to bake that with some tomato sauce on top. The mussels we're going to steam in some marinara sauce. The clams we're going to do over linguine with an oil and garlic uh, white sauce. The shrimp we're going to do two ways. We're going to peel them and then some will steam off for shrimp cocktail with a little bit of Old Bay and cocktail sauce. And then some will do in marinara sauce over linguine with the lobsters, which we're going to split and clean as well. Uh, the smelts here, you just dredge them in flour and uh, fry them in oil, as well as the calamari, we'll bread that with breadcrumbs and egg instead of flour, but also fried. And then the octopus here, you'll cut the tentacles off and cut them into sections about that long and saute them in oil, garlic, and lemon. All right, Mike, uh, now that we know what's in the Feast of the Seven Fishes, can you tell us a little bit about the significance of each of these? Sure we can. Right here we have whiting. Uh, whiting are found in all seven seas you can find whiting. Here we have the salt cod, uh, commonly known as bacala. It's a dry salt, and uh, we are the salt of the earth. Here we have mussels and clams. Uh, they are in the ground, like we are grounded in our faith in the Lord. Next we have shrimp, and they're the most abundant seafood that you can find in the sea. And shrimp represent abundance. Here we have smelts. Uh, smelts are a very inexpensive fish. It shows the Lord was humble. Next door we have squid and octopus here. Squid and octopus have the tentacles, as we all know. That shows you that the Lord's faith ran out into all parts of the world. And next door we have lobsters. Uh, lobsters have been around since biblical times, and they've been roaming the seas uh, for a very long time. Yeah, I understand that you're uh, open some special hours for the holidays. Absolutely, we have to be. We get a lot of phone orders in here at Mike's. Uh, a lot of people call ahead. Uh, we'll be open every day. Uh, right on up to Christmas Eve till 6 o'clock on Christmas Eve and uh, for the whole week and then the whole week following will be open for New Year's. Uh, Seattle seems to be getting a lot of people coming down for the Christmas between Christmas and New Year's. We get a lot of people coming down here and uh, celebrating the holidays and going out for New Year's Eve having house parties and uh, if you're coming down Mike Seafood has party trays and uh, we do a lot of special things we don't do year-round. We'll have clams casinos, oysters Rockefeller, mushroom stuff with crab meat, our crab balls, our lobster mac and cheese, uh, we have a lot of things going on. So for all your party needs and for Christmas Eve, for the Feast of Seven Fishes, come on down to Mike's. All right, so what we have here, we got breaded fried calamari. These are smelts dredged in flour and fried, and then fried crab balls as well. Uh, shrimp cocktail, these are just shrimp peeled and steamed with a little bit of Old Bay. This is octopus sauteed in lemon, garlic, and uh, olive oil. That's the bacala 
baked with tomato sauce on top. The bacala is the one you gotta soak in water for three days before you cook. Mussels steamed in marinara sauce. Shrimp and lobsters in a red sauce over linguine, and then clams in a white sauce over linguine, the white sauce, olive oil, garlic, clam juice, etc. Smoked whiting in the corner there. That's uh, not something you're gonna do at home. You can pretty much just pick them up here at Mike's. And uh, with a little bit of bread, you got yourself a feast. Michael, I gotta thank you. This is uh, absolutely delicious, and what a spectacular spread. Uh, really appreciate you sharing all your knowledge of the Feast of the Seven Fishes with us today, and it's just, it's truly appreciated. Well, I enjoyed having you here today, and uh, it's a very important tradition to me and my family, as uh, well as many other families. Uh, remember, you don't have to be Italian to enjoy the Feast of the Seven Fishes. So true. Well, from Sea Isle News, and from Mike's Seafood, we'd like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy and Healthy New Year. Cheers. Cheers. Buon Natale. That's Italian for Merry Christmas. <laughs>